Hello everyone, I welcome you back to the channel. Today we have with us a very special guest on Kanya Voice, uh, Dr. Himanshu Sarma, who is JR3 Anesthesia from MLB Medical College, Jhasi. And he is also the RDA Vice President of his college. I welcome you, sir, on today's podcast. And I hope our juniors listening this would really be enlightened. Hi, Akshatya. Thanks for having me here. And I really appreciate your work you do on Kanya Void and also other than this YouTube channel you have. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for all of your time. So today, guys, in the episode of Kanya Voice, we will be looking at how does the day in the life of an anesthesia resident look like. This video will be for the counseling uh, undergoing uh, graduates as well as those who are looking for anesthesia as in general in future options. So uh, before we begin, a little about Kanyamet. Kanyamet is a brand which is dedicated in celebrating medical professionals. Our aim is to provide comfortable apparel so that whenever doctors, particularly like if you see anesthesia resident working endlessly in hospital, so they should not worry about the comfort and we can obviously provide that particular thing to you. So in today's episode, let's talk about all about anesthesia residency and I think sir will definitely uh, make it great. So sir, uh, yes. the first question, uh, let's start. So what does a day in the life of an anesthesia resident looks like? Yeah, before your question, I would like to tell you something about anesthesia. Yes, I think the biggest fear in the patient, in the mind of patient is while going to a surgery is, will it hurt? So I think the management of pain is the biggest boon to the mankind. Right. And we deal with the pain management only. Right. And the best thing in hospital you can see is resuscitation. Right. So anesthesia has a special loan in it. Right. Also nowadays, physicians, because they work in OTs, ICU, pain clinic, emergencies, and also some non-operating room anesthesia also. Also, we deal with different type of physiology, starting from the pediatric physiology to geriatric physiology, and not only adult or some one group of people. Right. And start uh, now coming to first year residency. Right. I think for the first three months in all branches, it is for the orientation only not for something you learn. It is just orientation for the th first three months. You have to observe what your seniors are doing, what your consultants are doing, and what is happening in the OT. Right. Getting used to environment. So I think uh, for the first three months, you have to reach OT by 8 a.m. Uh, every day. And you have to learn how to make drugs, how to prepare your OT, how to prepare your uh, laryngoscopes, and uh, your uh, how to calibrate your workstation. Right. So this is the thing that you have to do starting to learn Karne Ka And then you see how your seniors are doing laryngoscopies, how they are doing their procedures, how they are delivering drug to the patient or her patient make aise different, different doses. De rahe. So starting me as a seekne ka hota. Now coming to elective OTs. Now there are different elective OTs like surgery, gynae, optha, ortho, also okay. ENT. So uh, before this, you have to do pre-anesthetic checkup to the, all the patients. So one evening before, one evening before uh, all the elective OTs, you have, have to see the OT list and do a thorough pre-anesthetic uh, pre checkup of the patients. So then you will come to the OT and next day you will prepare according to that. Also, other than this elective OTs, we have emergencies. Emergency OT are different kinds, surgery, trauma OT, and the most common are gynae OT, we all know, cesarean sections. And for the first year, you uh, in our college, there were only four seats of uh, JRs. Okay. So we had a, lo uh, a lot of workload. So we had every alternate day or every day emergency duty. So uh, also there are some uh, references which come from the uh, different departments uh, about uh, failed, uh, failed procedures or difficult procedures, difficult intubation and management of difficult cannulation. Also during our time in first year, we also have uh, COVID patients also so we had to transfer from uh, emergency to covid icus right, right right yeah definitely definitely so all in all what one can really understand it's a very diverse branch uh, you can have yeah. an exposure to all the specialties you can also have an exposure to all the age groups and definitely the thrill is always there in the any scenario be it elective or emergency so sir on the scale of one to ten you know if someone who is joining this uh, this year residency how hectic is especially first year residency on scale of one to ten i think it is like a branch for the first year i can scale on seven to eight so okay. for the first year you have to i told you you have to do elective ot prepare the elective ot's and you have to do emergency duty also 
So also adding to the ICU duties, they are more hectic as compared to this, these OTs. So you have 12 hours duty. You can also be called to the elective OTs after your ICU duty. So they are no off. Actually, it depends on the college, how many colleagues you have, how many seats of JRs you have. Uh, in our college, we only, uh, only have four, four seats, so it was very difficult for us. But yeah. in some colleges, there are like 40 seats, so they are uh, have very, have hec very less hectic uh, branch, so right. according to them. Right. So it right. depends on the college also. Right, right. So on the similar notes, sir, like you said, you know, one can uh, consider this factor in opting college. There might be some questions for students if they have greater seats, then obviously the hecticness is less. But then exposure is also uh, a little bit lesser than what yeah. you are getting, obviously. So what one should, you know, how to decide which college to opt for residency? Uh, we just cannot see a college ke, on the name of the college, you go to the college. Yeah, before joining, you should check up on something. Okay, how is the patient load? How is the hands-on given to the JRs? Some colleges only consultant work there, so there is no hands-on to the JRs. And also how many other seats, ICU beds, and how are the how are seniors and faculty equipments or up settle I think this is also an important question where you want to settle in future. Also, some of the call many of the states have bond status now. So you also have to consider that also. Right. Right. So definitely, sir, I think the hands-on part is again very important because this being a branch which is yeah. uh, requiring great amount of hands-on skills. So one should always be looking forward to that. So now, sir, if we uh, look for some different sort of question, like what is the best part of the day in the life of an anesthesia resident or in general anesthesia consultant? I think best part is the when you resuscitate a patient. Right. Resuscitating a patient from <laughs> nothing though is the best part. Okay, you just uh, bring the patient alive. Right. Uh, that's what uh, anesthesiologists are known for. And also doing a difficult successful intubation. And when uh, other department calls you on emergency duty, all departments are there and you just go and intubate. So you just did the procedure. So these are, right, definitely. I think, very uh, good stuff in this uh, branch. Right. So, the emergency wala thriller that is very much in this particular brand. So, on the similar note, if you know if there is any worst part or something which you'd like to change about this branch in general, I think uh, we all know that okay, there is lack of recognition and awareness among people. When the patient admit get admitted, it he is admitted or he she is admitted in the surgery department or ortho department, and in surgical department, not in anesthesia department. You just have to treat the patient and give them back. So, tomorrow, koi matlab personal patient nahi hoga. And also, uh, I think, agar kuch uh, OT mein ya fir waise kuch galat ho jata hai in during operation, something something goes wrong. So, surgeon will blame you for that. That right. also blame game happens between that. I think the worst part of the branch. But uh, about the awareness, there are uh, there is awareness is spreading in uh, uh, metro cities also not like that and also we can change it by doing some uh, workshops like uh, bls and acls you must have seen we have done some of the bls uh, workshops in the to the non medicals also so they will come to know ki anesthesia is branch hai log ye bhi karte hain fir ye unko bas ye bhi nahi ki unko ye bata ki you just uh, resuscitate cpr hi karte ho other procedure in anesthesia also you should make them know right right definitely matlab this is something which is very important, like uh, the most uh, crucial part, like as you said, rightly, the pain management, that thing, something if someone does not recognize it, then that's a big fault of yeah. theirs. So yes, definitely this thing should be changed. And this, I think this is very, uh, something which is very common in a lot of branches in India, which should definitely uh, change in the long run. So, uh, yeah. sir, now uh, uh, one question which is very apart from what we usually had right now. He like, uh, as many of you might be seeing, sir, has a good hobby of, you know, gymming and everything yeah. around, around that. So now uh, balancing gymming, like as you said, even your first year might be very hectic. So how did you say that if someone who wants to balance his or her hobby with professional career, so what would be your message or take for the listeners? I think physical activity though is a therapeutic in nature. Right. So it enhances your professional skill also, professional efficiency also, also personal efficiency also. In other things, you do your work, how to manage stress. So it helps in that. I think toh, uh, rather than resting for 15 minutes, I'll do workout. 
Right. So whenever I used to come to room around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, so I'll do 10 to 15 minutes workout. That yeah, okay, I'll do it. But it's not that we can do any workout or gym. Say, everything is done. I right. think if you uh, love sports, actually you like cricket also, na? Right. I also like cricket. I, I, maybe if I say tomorrow morning, or Sunday, or Sunday, we should go to play. So we should go to play. So we'll go for that. Right. Right. I'm always ready for sports. Yeah. Right. So definitely one thing that uh, everyone needs to understand is that they love their hobby so they can always pursue it irrespective of even if they don't have the perfect scenario of uh, yeah. you know something settings and all that. So sir on the uh, last note. Yeah uh, also one thing I think uh, yeah one thing uh, if you have a problem in uh, doing your hobby or uh, that is only for the first year in anesthesia. During your second and third year, you can continue with that. I think you can get uh, around 30, to, 30 minutes to one hour in a day. You can get easily get. Uh, so you can do your hobby well. Right, right. Definitely, definitely. Sir. So uh, getting juniors is one of the best thing that anyone can relate. So, <laughs> uh, so right now on a separate note, you know, uh, if you want to give any message in general to uh, in all the aspiring residents, so what would that be? Uh, first of all, about anesthesia only, it is not an end branch. Uh, I would like to tell you that there are many fellowships uh, that are done in mainly critical care and pain, pain medicine. Right. And also DM, DM in pediatric anesthesia, neuro anesthesia, cardiac anesthesia, DM critical care and pain clinic. If someone says that patient interaction is not happening, you go for pain, pain medicine. You can have OPDs in that. Okay. And in case you want thrill, you like resuscitating patient or you like a hectic ask boring I want some critical care type so you can go for DM critical care also right. and if you like a DM you can do this branch I don't think uh, people say it is a chill branch for this uh, for even five seconds you are dealing with difficult intubation or any difficult procedure if the saturation is not rising for even for five to ten seconds you will end up in terror so yeah. it is highly stressful, I think. Hmm. Right, right, right. So I don't think it is a very chill branch to, uh, you cannot say that. Right. Also so, about, uh, yeah. Yes, please continue. For, uh, I think for any branch, if you are good with, if you are good with knowledge, good with procedures, and you, and you can shine anywhere. If you are thorough with the observations in your, you have done in first year, then you can do well in your coming years. It, this is for every branch, I guess. Right, right. Right, definitely. So I think on the similar note, uh, if one, you know, chooses anesthesia or any branch in particular, one needs to be very sure that they are not taking it just for, you know, someone said, you can chill, you can chill, you can chill, you can relax life. Because obviously it's all up to you how much skills you want to acquire and how much, you yeah. know, further you can specialize. So that was really great, sir. I think uh, all those who are watching this would surely benefit in their upcoming counseling as well as in general uh, so again uh, thank you for your time and uh, guys we hope that you love this video thank you for yes thank you Akshay. thank you so much sir uh, also just to mention thank i'll you. mention sir's instagram page and id below in the description surely you can check that out for further updates and you can dm him if you have any further particular queries thank you everyone take care stay safe stay healthy thank you Akshay. thank you sir